New York City's public schools are the real melting pot of cultural and social diversity in the five boroughs. So it makes sense that the city schools are also ahead working hard at making sure students who identify with the LGBT community are able to be themselves in school. News 12 Brooklyn's John Diaz looks at new initiatives designed to help with that goal. To be afraid is to behave as if the truth were not true. At Brooklyn Collaborative School, it's a phrase this Gender and Sexuality Alliance Club advisor, also known as GSA, teaches his students to live by. In GSA, there's a space where we can hear students and more genuinely than we would throughout the regular day. Last March, students at the school thought it would be a good idea to start up the GSA club, getting together not only students who identify as members of the LGBT community, but also allies. So students who have friends who are gay, or even parents, are guardians. Students can show up and process events that are happening in their lives, like coming out to their parents. It's also a place where students develop leadership skills. Every Wednesday during lunch, GSA Club meets, sharing thoughts and ideas so private, our cameras weren't allowed in. It, it helps kids understand that these topics are very serious. Sixth grader Zaney Liebling explaining how much this club has helped him grow and become more comfortable with himself. It gives you a good set for what's going to happen in the world, what challenges might you face and it shows you that it's, the world's not always just unicorns and rainbows. Studies show bullying continues to be an issue within the school systems, but new initiatives such as the GSA clubs, which are popping up in more schools across the city every year, are helping to reduce this kind of harassment, especially when it comes to LGBT students. It's important for our kids to not have to check who they are when they come into school. In January of 2016, Jared Fox became New York City Department of Education's first LGBT liaison, helping schools like Brooklyn Collaborative transform some of their bathrooms to all gender ones and train new and tenured teachers about how to educate LGBT students. We realize that in many of our teacher preparation programs at colleges and universities, LGBT supports are not taught. And so a lot of teachers enter into the education profession with a lot of questions. Fox has also helped roll out the Out for Safe Schools initiative, where teachers and faculty constantly wear badges that show they support LGBT students. LGBTQ students who experience bullying are more likely to miss school and feel unsafe at school. However, research shows that if they can identify 11 or more supportive adults in their lives who are allies to the LGBTQ community, that those statistics even out with their straight peers. And learning about LGBT history has even become a part of the state standard in both the 8th and 11th grade, so students could be tested about Stonewall or other historic LGBT events. John Diaz, News 12 Brooklyn.